I'm Radical Reggie. And I'm Retro Gaming Maniac. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the, the Horror, Horror Insider, Insider Show. Resident Evil, released on March 30th, 1996. Now, that was a day I don't remember at all. I was pretty much transitioning between uh, video games back then. But what Resident Evil did for me was it added two elements that I always wanted to have in video games, and that was full motion video mixed into with video games. I wanted video games to pretty much become more like movies, and with Resident Evil, it, that, it did it for me. The game added survival horror to the point of where, you know, you just didn't know what was going on, like what was behind you. It was very eerie. And being stuck in a mansion, trying to find your, your comrades, it was just a very terrifying experience. The original Resident Evil on the PlayStation 1 was a game that I remember when it came out because I was actually at my friend's house. We were having a sleepover type campout thing at his house. We were in the backyard. We had a tent set up, a fire going and we had sleeping bags laid out and inside we had like this little cabinet and a TV on top of it and we were playing uh, PS1 games and Super Nintendo games but one of the games that he had just gotten was Resident Evil on the PS1 and that game was totally different than any other game I had played at the time it was scary mostly due to the camera angle and just the overall um, feeling of the game, the ambience, the environment uh, the voice acting was horrible, but back then you didn't really notice it, at least at my age. It was a game that for playing it for the first time outside near a campfire in the dark, it was it made for a very memorable experience for me. And it's a game that still holds up to this day, though the graphics do kind of look pretty bad now. So with Resident Evil, you have a situation where you're trying to find the rest of your team. and. Being in this mansion is insane because not only is the mansion massive and it has a lot of locked doors, but it, there's traps as well. Now these traps can, depending on your situation, can kill you immediately or can give you an amount of time to figure out a way to get out of these traps. That was one of the most terrifying things to me in that game. Um, the first time I saw the ceiling cave in, like try to cave in on you, pretty much terrified you because being smashed like a pancake is just, that's a excruciating death. And that, that's what I want to come to with the Resident Evil games. Resident Evil has a way of just killing your character in violent ways that are that so violent that it'll scare the crap out of you. So you don't want to get killed in these games. You want to try to survive the best you can. Oh God, what did I do now? Wesker! Barry! Help! Something that I remember really blowing me away at the time was the sense of exploration in the game, you know, coming across this mansion out in the middle of nowhere, you don't know anything about it, and then just exploring the mansion, uh, opening that locked door that you gotta find the key for. Just very cool game to explore in, uh, very creepy. Uh, the music, everything is just wonderfully done. The voice acting, like I mentioned before, is horrible, but it's funny, so it actually kinda, it's one of the things that really stands out about the original Resident Evil now is the voice acting. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to hear it, uh, I'm going to play some here in a second, but it, it's hilarious. What is this? Wow, what a mansion! Stop it! Don't open that door! But Chris is... What is it? Maybe it's Chris. One thing the first Resident Evil game like gave me was a sense of urgency. Like you, you're in a bad situation and you want to get out of it. 
One of the scariest moments in that game, and I know a lot of people pick when the dogs jump through the window, but for me, is actually when the hunters came in the house. You know, you have these, these creatures that are intelligent, know how to open doors, and they're lurking in the house looking for you. And the thing about these things is that you have a health bar in the game, and these guys can de decapitate you when your your health gets slightly bad. When I I would say more in the caution mode, they can decapitate you with, with a kill, and that's it. Now they are the first enemy that could pretty much instantly kill you and kill you in a brutal way. I mean, getting decapitated that that's that's a horrible way to go. And the game pulls no punches. I mean, what, how the scenes look. There are so many moments in Resident Evil that that trip me out, you know. But mostly it was. It was I would say it's mostly like uh, the death scenes, you know, I did not want to get killed and there's so many brutal ways you can get killed in this game. Uh, today the game to me has aged well, I actually played it uh, uh, actually a few months ago and really enjoyed it. It's definitely, uh, I would say it's a great entry level survival horror game that a lot of people can get into. Resident Evil will forever pretty much be one of my favorite games of all time. Resident Evil is a game that still holds up well the graphics and voice acting are dated but luckily there is a remake that came out on the gamecube and this was a remake from the ground up completely redid the whole thing and that is the version of the game to get i think play the original so you can appreciate the remake even more and luckily you can actually get the remake on ps4 and xbox one now i think it's like twenty dollars beautiful graphics they did everything right in this remake um, this is how you do one. This is the best, one of the best remakes of a game I've seen. Graphics are there, sound, everything is just perfect. The voice acting was fixed. But uh, yeah, check out Resident Evil on PS1 and then check out the remake so you can appreciate it. But uh, yeah, Resident Evil, all time great. Hey guys, thank you for watching this episode of the Horror Insider Show. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. And make sure you check out Radical Reggie. I'll have a link to his channel in the description. Thank you.